So it was pouring rain here last night. Looks like the sun's trying to bust out. It's fall. It's almost Halloween. My trench that I did with an axe, my axe trench, well, it let water in. So I'm going to have to dig this out a bit deeper today so the water can not go in. So what's up on there? What's the project for today? It's going to be the last of the light projects for now with chainsaws. I sketched this out quick. So it's going to be a tree on one side, tree on the other side, wood spirit in the middle and kind of a frame. And there's going to be, there's going to be lights all under the tree, all inside the frame here, shining on the wood spirit. Okay. This is a piece I'm doing for myself. You got to fill up your thermos on a day like today. And you just got to drink coffee and you just got to get, get it done. So what I'm going to do, I got a couple different color pens. Oh, this slab is four inches thick, all right? It's got some bug stuff in here, some wormholes, but it's okay. I think I've cut it all off because this was originally like that thick where my hand is. So it's 17 inches wide, three inches tall, sorry, three feet tall, and four inches thick. So my goal to do today is carve this like this. I don't care how the wood spirit turns out. I just want lights to shine on it. So I got to carve a deep channel in here. Like I said, it's one of those light videos. A deep channel in here so you do not see the lights without cutting through. Yep, that's it. I'll draw this on. I'm going to be starting off with the Steel MS 170 with, uh, I think it's a 14 or 16 inch cannon bar. You guys, for the very beginners, you can get these steel 170s for fairly cheap. You can get a steel carving bar with a an order a quarter pitch sprocket, and then you can start carving. Okay, so I don't really know what I'm doing here. The struggle's real, and uh, well, I'm just gonna get it done. So this is gonna be mostly time lapse with music and stuff like that, because I gotta kind of concentrate on my cuts, and who knows, who knows how it turns out. But why I'm doing this is because when I was looking at my little tree project that I did last night with the lights in it, I wasn't very happy with it. So when you're not happy with something, keep trying. You're only going to get better. Who knows? There's a 50-50%. Who thinks I'm going to be successful on this pace? I just don't know. So I've been trying to take my time. This, I knew this project is kind of ridiculous. Like, anyways, let's get a fuller vi visual here. So, you know, cutting this channel in here for the lights is, I did, I did cut through there. See, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I cut through. Yeah, you can see. Um, but you can't see it on the back. So I can use wood filler for this too and saw it like a wood glue, gorilla and sawdust to fill that up. Because this is from a bug hole. But so, when I was cutting deep in here, because I wanted lights to come out below the tweak, you can't see, but there's a hole here, under here. Um, when I was going in here with my chainsaw, like, it's super deep in there. Um, I look at the shitty cut I did. But I think I should be able to fix it. So now it's the fun time to carve in a wood spirit in here. It's not going to be a crazy detail. I just want, I might even put a couple little ghost skulls and stuff in here. If, if it doesn't work out, I don't care. That's the thing. All right? Because I'm doing this for myself. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on.
Okay, so this has been a lot of carving. Carving a lot of depth inside here with the tip of my bar, which is dangerous because you can get kicked back. This is a different kind of wood spirit. I made the lines coming down on the face and this the lines coming off his head. All right, so you can see the depth in here. Here's a side view for Just Carve Rob. Because I wanted to take all this side down, then this side down. Let's see. Come on. I wanted to take this side down and this side down lower because I want the lights to shine on the face. But I don't know. This guy's going to be painted too. I'm going to paint it red and black, maybe even some green in there. Um, about the lights. It's going to be the hardest part of this piece is gluing them. I think I'm just going to glue them so they kind of face this way on that lip there. I don't know, man. It's it's kind of a nightmare for even thinking about doing this, but you just don't know if you don't try. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is carve with this uh, 800, 800 seat. This is what you need, Lance. And uh, just kind of smooth everything out, burn it and clean sand it then i'm going to carve the trees very last because they're going to be a bit fragile and then i got to sand up here and burn it i still got tons of work to do sorry anybody new to the channel these are the kind of lights that i'm going to use for inside there nightmare stuff Well, I just don't think that was the smartest move painting this guy. That's a good screenshot there. I just don't think it was the best move painting this guy because, well, now this is all wet. I put a clear coat on it. But if I go to carve these trees, all this sawdust is going to sit in this clear coat and it's not warm enough out for this to dry really quick. So I'm going to have to take this piece home tonight, let it sit inside my house, get really dry. So when I curve these trees and clean up here with my sander and burn it and my torch isn't working too so i didn't even burn this guy i just sand, carved it sanded it i think it's neat i like it i don't like i don't like about 90 percent. sorry i got my hand above the camera because uh, i don't like that glare i don't like about 90 percent of my carvings but i like this guy he looks kind of happy tucked in there and i don't know about lights i just don't know if I'm going to be able to do the lights on this, it's just kind of, a, it would just kind of be a nightmare. But like if I, I, I just don't know. I just don't know. So this can, video is going to have to be continued till tomorrow. Take it home and dry it off. I'm going to carve something else today though.
Okay, so I got it on the wall. There it is. I took the uh, mountain seam down to put this one up. That's not for sure the final landing spot for it as I'm going to be painting this wall and doing some more renovations of my bedroom. So let's turn the main light off and then uh, slowly dim this light thing here. Okay, so here's the remote that it comes with. Let's uh, turn it on. Okay, so it was late at night. I decided to carve the eyes out and run a line up the back to hit the eyes. I didn't quite carve them square, like center to each other. So here's the problem how I'm going to fix that. I'm going to black out the right eye and just leave it so that one eye is glowing. So let's turn this light. Let's turn this light down. That's pretty well uh, white. You get the different functions on this controller. Let's see, red. Satan. Maybe it's Odin. So it gives off a pretty good light. It was a real son of a gun to uh, put these lights in. What I did with the um, lights too, I put, because um, there were two in the eyes, sorry. They were too bright, so I just put some hot glue in there to kind of dull them up a bit. So I'll give you a close-up of the eyes right now. So you see I had this one carved perfect lights right there. That's just hot glue that I put in there to make it not so bright. But then this one is kind of over here, and it's not so bright. So all I'm going to do is just paint this hot glue black just to uh, get rid of it and just make it like a one-eyed Odin. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate all the support. And um, I sprained my wrist working on this, trying to fire up the little 2511. And um, I might be out carving for a week, so this might be the last video in a week, but we'll see what's happened. Maybe I'll do a live so everybody can talk and say hi to each other. Thanks, everybody. That's it for this one. Carving Fusion. Over and out. What you talking about, uneven light eyes, Willis? What you talking about? Satan.